Hi, this is the second part of the series on music generation Python. After this lesson, you will be able to generate music like this. To not miss my new videos, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Without further ado, let's dive into the code. Firstly, we need to import the music21 library and the random module. In the previous video, I forgot to mention that in the music21 library, all nodes are enumerated from 0 to 127, therefore, you don't need to use notation from music theory, such as C4. Here, I've created a class called minor music generator. However, it's primarily centered around music theory rather than programming, so I don't see a point in going into all the details, but let me explain how it works and cover all you need to know about it. The class has only one parameter for initialization, which is a scale. You can think of a scale as the most important node. When you choose a scale, you specify which nodes sound good together. Essentially, it boils down to physics. Each node is a sound wave, and sound waves produce a pleasant sound when they interfere. Each object of this class has only two attributes. The first one is correct notes, which contains a list of notes that sound good together. The size of this list is 7. The second attribute is correct chords. Just as a reminder from the last lesson, a chord is a set of notes that you play simultaneously. So, the correct chords attribute contains a list of three chords that sound good with correct notes. The main question is how to arrange all these notes and chords in a way that is harmonious. Let's write a function called create melody with one parameter, which is a scale. First, we need to create an instance of minor music generator. Let's call it the song generator. Additionally, we need to create a stream object, which, as you may recall from the last lesson, will contain all our nodes. Now I need to declare some constant values. Node durations is an array that contains possible durations for our nodes. Each interval is equivalent to one node with a duration of 2, or two nodes with a duration of 1, or 4 nodes with a duration of 0.5 or 8 nodes with a duration of 0.25. Let's write a function that will generate a single interval and then we will call this function many times to create a long song. I have several parameters here, let me go through each of them. Offset basically indicates the position in the stream where we need to insert our current interval. Octave shift refers to music theory. You can play the same note higher or lower. When octave shift equals zero, the sound is somewhat neutral, neither high nor low. A positive value, like 1, produces a higher sound, and a negative value, like minus 1 or minus 2, produces a lower sound. Finally, the last parameter is straightforward. It signifies the volume of notes in our interval. Our first step is to generate random nodes for the right hand. First, we need to randomly choose a node duration. I am using the randint method from the random module, which generates an integer from 0 to 3. Also, let's determine the number of nodes in our interval. It could be evaluated by the following formula. I hope the image illustrates well why it is so. And also, let's define a shift. The magic number 12 represents the distance between the same nodes in neighboring octaves. Now let's add this number of nodes to our stream. As you may recall from the beginning of this video, our generator has an attribute correct notes, which is a list of notes that we should use. And here we randomly select a node from this list. 
All we need to do now is to create a real node object, set its characteristics and add it to our stream. The second step is quite similar, but even simpler. We need to add a chord for our left hand, following the same logic. Here I choose a random chord from the correct chords attribute, create a chord object, specify its volume and add it to our stream. Note the importance of specifying an offset here, since it will be played simultaneously with the right hand. Also, I am using pitches. The thing is that you cannot add the same chord twice in your stream. You need to copy it, and only then you can insert it. We are approaching the last step, which is to call this function many times to create a whole track. Also, for the last interval, I want it to be quiet, so I'm gonna add the last interval with a velocity of 50. You can make a smoother any here if you wish. Finally, we need to save our song as a MIDI file. And let's try to create some song using this create melody function. As you can see, it works. Now we can generate thousands of songs in different scales in just one minute. Additionally, I'm using an online converter from MIDI to MP3 to make the sound more natural. This is a basic generator, but it actually produces good sound. There are many parameters to adjust and numerous techniques you can apply. For example, you can change the left hand from a single chord to a sequence of notes to achieve a sound like this. In the next video, I'll show you more advanced techniques to create more complex compositions. To ensure you don't miss it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. See you in the next videos.